Today I'm going to show you, for starters, how I've always tapped holes in the past. And then I'm going to show you a new thing that I learned when I was making my belt grinder, my 2x72 belt grinder, with my friend Tom the Welder. He showed me a little trick. If you're doing through holes, it's a lot faster than the old way. So first we'll get started with the way I used to do it, and then I'll show you what we did when we were making my belt grinder. So the way I've always done it in the past, it's a uh, kind of the standard tap that you would get from uh, you know Home Depot or Lowe's, and basically you just start. I put a little oil on it. Now I don't have any tapping fluid. That's the ideal, but I just turn it until it gets kind of tight. But as long as it keeps going, you know, it can be a little tight. If you start seeing any flex at all in the in the uh, the tap, you're gonna have to back it off, back it out. You can even kind of clean it off and run it back in. And if you you know if you have one hole, this is fine. A couple holes, not a big deal. But if that metal starts to get kind of thick. Now, that's tight, so I'm going to have to back that out again. And just make sure you get the threads all the way into the full thread, you know, past the starter threads, and back it out. And that's done. As soon as you get it backed out. There it is. Threaded, quarter inch piece of steel, half inch tap. Now I'll show you what my friend Tom showed me. All right, so we have a couple of holes that need to be tapped, uh, threaded, whatever. It's gonna be a 3 8 16, of course thread 3 8 is the thread pattern. It'll take a 5 16 clearance hole, and we're gonna use what they call a tapered point tap uh, the nice thing about this is it pushes the chips forward so that you don't have to reverse the tap to get the chips out of the hole. This obviously only works on a through hole where the hole goes all the way through the material. But it's because you don't have to reverse uh, your tapping action to clear chips or break chips or anything like that. And I believe it has a cutting action to cut the chip as it's going, if I'm not mistaken. It's three flutes. It's titanium nitride coated. Um, and we're going we're gonna to use cutting fluid anyway. Usually they will use this for machine tapping. Uh, we're going to do it by hand. Actually, we're going to use a, uh, a slow speed drill. And it uh, should work just fine. Ready? Yeah. All right. We're going to throw some, some tap fluid on there. We're going to try to get it as square as possible, although usually it will tend to self-square. So you throw the chips out the back? Yeah. And you're done. I could clean that off if you want. No, no. Good enough. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one.